Welcome back, guys. Is this series exciting or what? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm, oh, I'm so excited. I'm nervous as hell because I think it's all going to hell. But, oh, man. Yes, Mars is going to hell in a handbasket. Right. Uh, just before we get started, uh, there's a couple of things I've got to show you. First, uh, where should I start? Where should I start? If we come down to this diner in here and have a look here, you'll notice, right, that there is a woman here who is having a drink. Can you guess who that is? Let's click on her and see who she is. Yes, it's Nanny Giggles, the alcoholic vegan having a drink. And look, all the guys are like, oh my God, keep your head down, keep your head down. Don't, no, don't look over there. She's drinking. She's going to get friendly. Well, and we all know how that's going to turn out. Oh, by the way, guys, for any of you that don't follow me on, uh, on Twitter, this is, you couldn't make this up. This is the funniest freaking thing ever. Nanny Giggles watched, uh, which was, where, 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 was it episode 10? Um, no, episode 9. Was it episode 9 or episode 10 where I was saying that, 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 that she gets friendly when she's had a drink? You won't believe the advert that came up in the middle of her watching that. An advert popped up for digital pregnancy tests. <laughs> oh my god. See? Just goes to show how much blooming YouTube knows about you. Oh yeah. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but that still makes me laugh. Oh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, by the way, you should. You should. We have some fun on Twitter. Especially with Nanny Giggles. Right. Um, so anyway, so there's Nanny Giggles. Uh, now, th you'll notice this this dome has been renamed. This is now called Bear's Den. Because um, I actually put a, a, a post up on my, on my Patreon for all my wonderful, lovely patrons uh, to, uh, if they wanted to get their names in the game. And, and if you want to get your name in the game and you're a patron, then make sure you... Um, you reply to that post and if you're not a patron and you want to get your name in the game you can become a patron for as little as a dollar a month tiny tiny amount uh, and then you can have something named after you so uh, so this is called uh, bear's den and this is for uh, for steven uh, steven stefan stefan wanted bear's den and then uh, who else have we got in here so we've got uh, we've got nanny giggles uh, who else is in here? I t I, this one I didn't want to name. This, I think, is the Russian version of Lara Croft. <laughs> Lara, Lara Tudova. <laughs> oh, dear. Kids, ask your parents. Uh, uh, this, I think this episode is going to be more about f having some fun. Uh, good old Mike Hillman. Now, Mike Hillman is an engineer and scientist in real life, and he wanted to be an engineer. So there you go. I, I, I made you an engineer who's an enthusiast, because I know you are, Mike. And uh, who else we got? We've got Oz. <laughs> now... It wasn't Oz who asked to be in the game. It was actually Chris. And then Chris and Oz have a bit of a double act going on. And uh, Chris asked me to make him, like, uh, with some unattractive quality. So he's actually a nerd idiot. <laughs> Sorry, Oz. Uh, Oz keeps wanting to buy me a Greg's. Um, I'll have to do that one day. Uh, um, Ariel. Um, I can't remember who wanted to be called Ariel. Oh, there's so many names to remember. I can't remember who it was, but you're in. You're in. Um, and who else? I think that's. I think that's it in this dome. Yeah, that's it in this dome. And then over in this dome, uh, if we go down, for the, where, where are all the people they're hiding? Uh, who have we got in this? In this dome, we've got. Oh, hello, hello, the Sonic. And oh, and this is me. I came across somebody who was a gamer nerd, so I thought, yeah, that's got to be me. Yeah, pretty sad, but never mind. And, and, and anybody else? Anybody else? Uh, Cosmo. I love some of these names. Cosmo Fusion. And Sabina Ingerova. Oh, Anatoly. He's still alive. Just. Uh, oh, and Blala. Blala Button. I put you in. I, I, I made you sexy, Blala. I'm sure you are. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Right. And then last, last couple of things to look at. First of all, um, it was... Hang on a second. We're missing somebody. We're missing somebody. Because, who, uh, yeah, we're definitely missing someone that I put in. And I haven't seen their name. Hang on a second. Let's have a quick quick flick through this. Eh, rank of must, oh, oh, there are some more. Uh, Florian's in and um, Daniel. Daniel Rivera. You're in, Daniel. Here's Bickerty. Here you go, Bickerty. <laughs> He's always moaning at me. You're in as a whiner. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? And then we're back to Naggles. There we go. Right. And then if we come over... Yeah, if we come down to these these drones, right? I wonder how many people will get this reference. This drone over here is called Number Five. Bickety asked me, uh, suggested that I put that in. I think that was a good suggestion. 
You know who number five is? And then there's he's got a friend over here. They're in a little bit of a chat. This is Wally. Of course, Wally. Uh, and last, last two things, I think. I had a request to name the Explorer Pendrag after Pendrag. And uh, the transport is now called the Shagger. After one of my one of my patrons called Shagger. Right, that's it. That's all that done. Now we can actually get on with playing the game. Good lord, six minutes of s silliness and names. Right, let's get this um, let's get this rocket landed. Get 12, 12 new people down here. So let's have you there. Boom. So rocket coming down. Now at the end of the last episode, if you remember, guys, our our poor little RC rover. Uh, was on it. No, 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 no. Our rover, not the poor rover, the rover was on its way to rescue our poor explorer, the Pendrag, which is up here, which is just about to run out of power. He's crawling along, desperately sector trying to get scanned. home. Select like a sector to scan. Here he comes. I've got to select a, a sector to scan. You know, I should do that. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, where are we going to scan? So we scanned all up here. So, I mean, I that's unexplored, that sector. You know what? Let's explore that and explore that. Uh, you, no, no. Let, let's, um, let's do some quick ones, I think. Let's explore... Let's explore up that area. Because it's, it's still, like, fairly close. Maybe we'll get lucky with, uh, with some anomalies or something. Okay, let's get back over to... Uh, to... Uh, New colonists have arrived. Oh, there we go. He's run out. Now, if we click on this guy and click on this icon and then tell him to go over there, he'll go over and he'll she'll share his power with this one and charge him up. Hooray! Good news. Right, I think you've got enough power that you can now get back up here and fully recharge and you can come back like over... Where should we put you? How do you? Didn't I have you over here helping out with the with the fueling and stuff? I think I did. Let's um, let's put you over here. Yeah, he's collecting up his drones, coming back over here. So we've um, we've had our new colonists arrive with an extra little bit of food. Oh, somebody came up with a really good tip, and I think this is a good tip because I I must admit I didn't see this. Your, your farms start with a soil quality of only 50%. So in actual fact, um, it would make sense to make your first few crops soybeans. Like, I, I started with potatoes. That's actually a bad idea. It would be a much better idea to have a few crops of soybeans first and then alternate between um, potatoes and soybeans. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a couple of soybeans. When that one's finished, I'll set that to soybeans as well. We'll get the soil quality up to like, I don't know. I think, well, I think we should get the soil quality up to 100%, really, if we can. If we can survive with, um, with that amount of food. God, I hope so. How are we doing for people? Let's have a look. So, botanist, 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 botanist. We've got four botanists in there. God, I hope that's going to be enough food. How much food have we got? We've got 16 food. We're down to a mere four electronics. We've got 17 machine parts. Oh, it's scary. How much? Sector scanned. Anomaly found. How much metals have we got? 21. Uh, we've got a new anomaly. Where? Oh, good. Um, how's our, where's our rover? We've scanned. Oh, we've got one, one anomaly down there that we can scan. So let's go and do that one first, I suppose. Go scan that. Okay. How is our, how's the shagger doing? <laughs> I think... Uh, oh, are you, yeah, you just finished. Um, you know what? There's some more stuff over here you could gather. So let's set up a, a route. Yeah, load metals there. And then deliver them back over to here. Go. All right, cool. Oh, man. What am I missing? Because I'm bound to be missing something. Um, we're low on electronics and food. Yeah, we know that. Look, electronics is getting so freaking low. Um... Man, we, we're only producing 1.8. What's our maintenance schedule? Let's have a look. Um, where's where uh, advanced? Maintenance. We, we used 1.1 yesterday. Jeez. We're, we're right on the edge. Right on the edge. I am seriously tempted 
to um, to send this rocket back just with what it's got. Um, I should tell you to not get metals. Now I could boost things up by having a second shift for this. I mean, it's um, it's an idea, but then it's it's going to suck people out of the factories. That's the problem, and I, I just don't think we can afford. Don't think we can afford it. Um. I mean, I could probably live with one less person in the polymer factory, like maybe. I, yeah, I don't think we, we could spare the people at the moment. Oh, God, we're, we are so close to things being really, really bad. Do I send this back? 22. 22 is going to give us, what, like about 400 million? Uh, pause for a second. That's going to give us about 400 million. What's that? For? We've got 250, so that would give us about 600... And uh, about 700 million. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's tight. Uh, how are things research wise? We're currently researching the faster graduation. I should probably have researched this first. Oh, yeah, yeah. I. I could like boost this temperate. Mind you, we've got all geologists in there. Daily production six point four. So like, I don't know, like another day. Oh yeah, go on. We'll 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 wait. We'll wait. Oh, it's probably a bad idea. It's probably a very bad idea to wait. Uh, I mean, I should probably just get this rockets like both of these sent back, and just bring some more people out. I mean, I need more people. And I need more resources. So, I mean, I should probably send both of these back. Oh, it's... Yeah. I love this game. I love this game. What... What can I possibly do to improve things? What else can I do? Um, we'll be putting the Martian University in there ASAP. Brief That'll allow us discovered. to train anybody who hasn't got a specialization. Oh, we've got a breakthrough. Alien imp alien imprints. Uncovers new anomalies. Alien artifacts which provide a boost to all research when scanned. Um, well, that's got to be worth doing. The question is, like, can I afford... I mean, it's only 2,000 research, so I'd do it in, like, two days. Should I do it before the copyrights? Because then maybe I can do some more stuff with my Explorer. So I'm thinking it's oh, it's probably a good idea. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, what's the other one I'm doing? So I'm doing that one. Two. Oh, there's one up here, I guess. What was I doing? Uh, oh, the factory upgrade. Yeah, that's gonna. That, yeah, let's. Uh, so let's do that, and then the factory upgrade. God, that's like 9,000 research. I wish that had come up earlier. I really do. Those are randomized for, for each game. Oh, man. How are we doing over here? We're up to 25. How many have we got in stock? We've got three in stock. So let's prioritize. Whoop. Sector scan. Let's prioritize this rocket. Let's get that stuff loaded up and we'll just send it back. So we've got one more. I think that should get us up to like 28, 29. That's good enough and we'll get that rocket sent back. Look at this. We're down to 11 food. <laughs> oh God. When's our crop coming in? We need our crop of potatoes. How much are we going to get? Well, we're going to get 30 odd and that should keep us going for quite a while. So, yeah, I think, I think that's going to help a lot. We really need to get the soil quality up though. Like, that's going to be a... A lot better if we can get the soil quality up to like 90, 100 um, percent. How's my rocket? My rocket's up to 27. We've got one more rare metal that could be loaded up. How are you doing? Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Ooh, a new anomaly. Pause. Let's have a look. Ooh, we've got an unlock. How's our? What are you doing? Oh, you're not doing anything at the moment. Well, go go and do that unlock first. Yeah, uh, how's your power? Actually, where are you? Because if you're if you're down here, should I get you charged up first? 
it would probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? Let's get let's send you over here. Let's get you charged up. Because then you can probably do two anomalies while you're up there. Rather than go all the way up there and then have to come all the way back and then go all the way up there again. Here we go. Get your get your lovely little self charged up. Here we go. Right, let's get up. I can just zoom out. So you should be charged now. Go do that one. Alright. We've got a malfunctioning cable. Resources are low. Yeah, I know about that. That's fine. Let's go back down here. Is this rocket ready yet? Please be ready. 27. We've still not loaded up that one. Come on. Come on. Little dronies. Where's number five and Wally? Get it loaded. I think. Oh, I was going to say one was coming in with stuff, but nope. Apparently not. Um, you guys. Oh, you are working. I thought they were sitting around. You see, you're sitting around doing nothing at the moment. Sector scanned. Select a sector to scan. Oh, it's being controlled by this spaceship okay okay now we're up to 29 that's good enough i think oh no we've, well, we've got three more i might well i might as well wait for the full 30 then come on is, are you bringing i think you're bringing the last one yep and boom launch quick get off the ship get off the ship before it takes off oh i've run out of sectors to, to explore um, we haven't found a whole hell of a lot of stuff up there, have we? It's a little bit disappointing. Um, let's do that one. That one, that one. And I guess, I guess we're going to start moving over. Let's do this one. Let's do that one. Um, yeah, we should do that one. Buildable area zero, though. So we're not going to discover anything there. This one, though. Buildable area 15%. Yeah, okay. Let's do that one as well. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, our rocket has just taken off. Hooray! Good news. Resources this rocket, we can now set to accept cargo. How are we doing? We are down to three food. <laughs> three food. Uh, how close are we? Okay, well this is going to... Remember we were hovering around the 32 level? Well, this is going to bring us in 35... So that should put us back on a reasonable footing for the food. Malfunctioning pipes, yeah, it's back to life. Analyzed. Ooh, new techs are available. Come on, give me like five. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long, so long as, as you know, know where, where to look. look. Uh, open the research screen. We've got compact hangars and deep water extraction. Deep water extraction is good. That's for darn sure. Um, compact hangars. Oh, the number of shuttles that the shuttle hub can house is increased by four. Yeah, that's kind of kind of kind of sort of okay-ish. Uh, deep water extraction, nine thousand. So uh, yeah, I mean, if we can get it researched, that could be that would be the solution to our water issues. Um, but we also need to do the deep metal extraction as well. Uh, we need a lot more research. We're we're not really researching fast enough. Um, but, you know, again, this is the issue with with playing on a map like this. This is why it's so difficult, because you can't get to all of the places. If this was like one or two areas, um, we'd have so much more technology by now. Like, I mean, there's all this stuff over here that we could be researching. Um, but I need to, I'd need to put a tunnel through here. Uh, and actually, I, I should be starting to search down here as well. Oh man, so much to do, so much to do. Go, keep going, keep going. Right, our rocket's on the way back to Earth. Now that's going to enable us Sector scanned. to get, um, to buy some electronics. But I've noticed, and I've noticed that our machine Resources parts have been going low. down and down. Um, sector E0 scan, no resources. We are low on, oh look, our food is now up to 38. We've just got our food crop in. Oh, pause. Because I want to change this from potatoes to soybeans so that we increase the soil quality. So let's see. If we let this do... We're at 40 now. So through... Um, yeah, we're going to want to go through like six cycles. Get it up to 100% if we possibly can. All right, let's leave you running. Okay, so... Research complete. Now it's all—it's going to be a question of of whether 
and how fast that brings in food compared with like this. I don't, like, I don't know how good this... Mind you, this is bringing in 5.8 per day now. Botanist, 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 and botanist. Okay, I think we've got enough botanists. So that's good. Um, I didn't show Sector you the school. Scanned. Let me show you the school. Oh, we've completed the research. Martian-born adaptability. Awesome. Um, Martian-born adaptability. Where's that? Yeah, where, where was it? Uh... That's Martian education. I don't know, but oh, it was up here, wasn't it? This one. Uh, Martian board colonists graduate faster in universities and sanatoriums. Blah, blah, blah. So we're going to try and quickly do the alien imprints, and then we'll try and get our two billion in funding boost. God, if we if we can get that, we might just survive, guys. We might just survive. What? Um, oh, hang on. I haven't been doing my transport. Uh, how are we doing for metals? 226. Actually, we're pretty good. Right, let's get some more in. Let's get some more in. Where are some... Oh, here we go. Let's grab load resource, metals. And I tell you what, people that people that like a bit of uh, micromanagement are going to freaking love this game. Um, let's get you unloaded there. Okay, so that's that happening. Oh, man, um, what can you research next? There's another... Oh, there's another one over here. I think that's the last one. So, yeah, you should just about have enough battery to do that. Cool. Oh man, we didn't. We we never found any deep water deposits over here. That's a damn shame. We've got one over there. Yeah, we don't have a lot of water. We really don't have a lot of water. What this means is, what we really need desperately is um, um, evaporators, moisture evaporators, that pull, that pull uh, moisture out of the air to create water. Now, in our research, we got, uh, we got the, uh, the upgrade, which I haven't researched, because there's no point, because we, we don't have evaporators. Now, again, I could buy them, but of course, it's having the money to buy them. Um, but we still haven't discovered the, the technology yet. Gene adaptation, that un unlocks um, new crops. Again, that would be good to do. Uh, this is farm automation. Farms, hydroponic farms and fungal farms upgrade. Decreases the number of workers. I mean, that would be freaking good as well. And, and we still haven't discovered moisture evaporators. God, and we're right into the, the last lots of technology. We've been kind of unlucky from that perspective. Oh, I hope we don't run out of water. God, how much we got left? Oh my god, we've got 1,200 water there. 3,300 there. Sector scanned. Oh, anomaly oh found. Oh, we've got a new anomaly. Where? Another anomaly to scan over there. I think our rover's going to have to come back and charge up, though, because he's getting a bit low on battery. Vehicle um, battery low. Our rocket is halfway back to Earth. Oh, you're going to run out of battery on the way home. But I'm going to let you finish scanning. I'll send out a rover to rescue it again. And breakthrough discovered. Done. Inspiring architecture. What the hell is this? Uh, colonists in domes with a spire have increased morale. Okay, again, would be a good one. No question about that. We're not desperate for it, but it certainly would be good. Right, you, you need to run back here and try and get charged up. And at the same time, I should grab a rover and send it out here, because there's no way that you'll get back. So let's send you up here. Go. Go, 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 go. Come on, little explorer. You could do it. The Pendrag Explorer. Now, somebody suggested it would be a really good idea to buy another explorer. Uh, and obviously, it would. Um, I, you know what? I think that might actually get back. Oh, go on. Go on, then. We'll send this back. Not needed. Go over there. Yay, you made it. Well done. I'll tell you what that... I think that one goes further on a charge than some of the others. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit faster or something. We're low on food. When aren't we? But we're still up at like 31. How are we doing? Like, is how long, long till the next crop comes in? Oh, well, we're getting there. Okay, well, I think we've solved the food problem. 
Um, oh my god, electronics has actually gone up slightly. You know, we might... We, I don't even want to say it, but we might survive. Our little transport is still bringing in metals. He's been doing a fantastic job. Um, you've only got one on board. Let's, um, let's get you set up farming somewhere else. You can farm over here, because there's quite a lot over here. So let's get you set up there. Load metals and dump them back on the storage, which is over here. Boom. Okay, that's you. Uh, where's our explorer? So you're you're fully charged up. Let's get you exploring that. Go. Right. Uh, everybody, go, 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 go. Do stuff. Do good stuff. Our rocket is almost back to Earth, and that's going to give us 600 million. So 600 million. That's going to give us like 850 million to spend. Now, I'm thinking to pretty much spend that all on electronics. Like, I might grab like five machine parts, but I'm thinking electronics is what we want. That allows us to get the university in, uh, 20 electronics. Then we can start training people. And if we train people, then our productivity is going to go up in like our factories and all the rest of it. And new kids coming through are going to grow up and they're going to be trained. That could be the difference between success and failure. Funding received. Okay, so our rocket has just got back there. Right, let's see. What do we want? We've got 900 million to spend. Cargo rocket. Just out of interest, how much would an extra explorer be? I mean, it would give us an extra 100. Um, yeah, it'd give us about 90 extra research every day, even if it's just sitting there not doing anything. It's like 400 million. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Electronics. These things are freaking expensive. 100 million each. So we need at least 20 just to build the university. That's half of our money. Um, so I'm going to have to get like 30. So I think if we, I don't know, 40 and then maybe get like... God, machine parts are expensive. Um, and that's it. That's all we can do. Um, I was going to get some food, but I think we can live on what we've got now. So I think that's it, guys. 40 electronics, 5 machine parts. Boom, I've just spent virtually a billion. Holy crap. Do it. Do it. Just I, I can't bring myself to press, but do it, do it, do it, lodge. Okay. So that rocket's on its way. How are you doing? You've got 13... God, how much how much we got left in here? The day claimed our last living founder. Oh. Spelling the end of an era for us all. Uh, Maria Petrova had a dream to see humanity united, conquering the stars. You know what? I've just realized I forgot to put somebody in. Um, one of my patrons. I don't know how I forgot, but I did forget. Uh, but anyway, oh, the last of our founders has died. Uh, now that kind of shows you like how quickly people are dying off and you don't get an alert every time someone dies and you kind of get you can get kind of a, a misguided perception of like how many people have become old age and therefore have stopped working and how many people have died and therefore like how many people are left in your colony over here we're actually full over here we've got 28 of 28 over here we're only 26 of 40 of a potential 42 and over here we've only got like 18 so the old people are dying off like pretty darn quickly. All of our founders, all of our original 12 founders have died. Isn't it scary? Absolutely scary. Right, the person I've got to put in is Murya. Now Murya, one of my most dedicated patrons, she's, um, she's always around, she's always on Twitter, always messaging. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to make Murya one of the, one of the kids. So she's, so she's around for a long time. Mariana Sirius. Martian born. Yeah, that'll do. Begins with an M. Do you want to be, do you want to be Murya Sirius? Should we do that? Yeah. Murya. There you go. Murya from Finland. It is Finland, isn't it? I'm sure it's Finland. I'm sure it's Finland. Right, so. Man. So, our rocket is coming. Our rescue rocket with our 40 electronics. Food's good. Electronics is actually just about going up. 
Machine parts, we're hanging on. I've got a sneaking suspicion that's kind of sort of creeping up very, very slowly. Polymers, we're okay for. We're good on power. We're good on water. We're good on O2, although we are running out of water. That, see, that, this is the thing. We anomaly need to expand found. soon. Seven anomalies. Oh, my lord. Let's zoom out. Oh, my lord. Look at all of these anomalies that we can scan. Oh, I'm going to have to start scanning down here. Oh, now I'm excited. <laughs> now I'm really excited. Uh, where is our where is our explorer? Let's get one of these. Oh, we haven't finished this one yet. All right, we'll, we'll get on with doing that. Oh, we've got new new anomalies to, to, to explore. Breakthrough discovered. Oh, pause. Core water. The hell? I don't even know what this one. I've never seen this one before. Uncover, uncovers extremely rich underground water deposits. Primordial underground lakes in the nethermost, the nethermost regions of Mars's crust have been accurately hypothesized and successfully pinpointed due to advances in our understanding of the Martial, Martian geological past. That has to be next, because we need water. Uh, what am I doing before that? I'm doing the factory upgrade. I think we want the water before the factory upgrade, even. You know, if you've got a different idea, then leave me a comment. Um, seriously, if you've got recommendations for what we should be researching, let me just flick through the kind of the, the researches up there. You can pause the video and kind of see, but I'll I'll kind of flick through so that you can read them, because um, I'm sure I probably haven't like, moved over every single one. So we'll give you a chance to the people who want to read what the technology is and stuff. Uh, let's go a little bit further that way. There we go. So we've got combat hangers in that one, doing that one. That's the those jet propulsion. Somebody was actually saying, "Oh, you should you should spread your base out and have it in multiple places and all the rest of it." Yeah, th that is completely impractical until you get um, CO2 jet propulsion, and you can actually share resources between multiple bases and whatever. And and even then, like if you want to link them together, then you're going to have to build tunnels and whatever. And you've seen how expensive those are, so it's no easy thing. It is no easy thing. Almost done. I've almost most over all of them, so that you can. Have a look through, pause the video, see all of these things. Space rehabilitation, plutonium synthesis. Okay, that's that. Uh, we've 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 got twenty percent of the way here. Where's oh you've you've finished doing that, haven't you? Yes, you've finished doing that. Let's do. Should we do this one? Oh, go on. Let's do that before the end of the episode because I want to know what these are, don't you? Right, go 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 go, little explorer, little pen drag. Do these take a long time? No, they're just they're pretty quick to pretty quick to scan to analyze. Um, let's see how we're doing on the food front while we're kind of waiting for that to be done. We are. So we're going to get another. I mean, I would think probably about twenty-five food coming in. What's our food level at? We're at twenty-three. So we've used about I don't know eight. So, if we get down to 16 and then get another, what did I say? 16 and then get another 25. Yeah, we'd be up to around 40. So, I think our food is going up. Pause. Oh, look at this. Minus 5% research cost for everything. Holy crap, that's insane. Wow. Okay, that could be a massive saving grace. For, well, oh, let's go and do another one. <laughs> let's go and do another one. Quick. Come on, little robot. Well, um, oh, I've left a blooming. Oh, no, that's the transport. I thought that was a. Uh, I thought that was a, an, an RC rover. Um, yeah, come over here. Let's get you to explore another. If, if each one of these is 5% off, like all technologies, oh my god. So, yeah, come and research this one. So I could look at it. so so like this one, so yeah, this is instead of being seven thousand, this is six six fifty. Oh no, because I've already done a bit of it. Yeah, let's vote. So this was where was the other one? Where was the Martian patents thing? Uh, this one. So this was seven. Uh, this was four and a half. Yeah. So now it's only four two seven five. Wow. This could make life so much easier. My God. 
Come on, where's the where's the rover? Come on, come on, here he comes. Yeah, scan this baby. Vehicle battery low. Um, who's got a low battery? You, I guess. Well, you're sitting on top of a cable, so you're not going to have a problem. Oof. Okay. Um, let's see. How are we doing? Well, let's, let's just have a look over here. So, food's okay. We've got a bunch more food coming in. We're just about hanging on with electronics. It has dropped a little bit. Machine parts is kind of okay. Polymers is still good. Uh, we're keeping the rare metals coming in. Sector scanned. Yeah, rare metals is still coming in. Uh, we're keeping up with the fuel, just about. Guys, we're I think we I think we're managing just just about. So we scan scan that sector, no resources. Um, pause for a second. Resources are low, yeah, okay. We've got that. Scan that. We've got two buildings that aren't working. I need to look at that. We're scanning are we scan yeah we're scanning that sector next where do we want to scan after that you know I think we should look down here maybe I mean it's either here or we carry on deep scanning over here I think we have a look down here let's have a look there and there and there what's the buildable area there 27% it's not huge yeah well we'll just scan those three and see how we get on uh, it may prove to not be that useful but I guess we'll see um, so you're, oh, have we, d has it already scanned? Yeah, it's already scanned that other one. Oh my God. So hang on, let's, let's go back and look at the research. We got another 5% off. Um, what were we looking at? So this was, yeah, the research on that is down to 4,050. Oh my God. Those things are insanely good. Any more? Yeah. There's two more up there. Right. You're fully charged, aren't you? You. Go over and research that one. Okay, guys, we're going to leave it there for this episode. And I tell you what, that, just just getting those alien imprints, that breakthrough, that could be the difference between our colony surviving and not. Because bringing down the, uh, the, the cost of the research makes things possible that maybe we wouldn't have been able to get researched in time. So yeah, I am I am cautiously optimistic. I'm going to go from 60/40 failure to 60/40. We might survive. I am really looking forward to seeing your comments on this video. Uh, how freaking awesome is this game? You tell me. I'll catch you for the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Oh, and we've got another five percent off. It just gets better and better. Peace out.